There's a uh, no radio on her. There you see the hill uh, on which many of the spectators are sitting, which gives you a very good view of the track. The next race is for Formula Juniors and Formula 3 cars. These are some of the former juniors. There's number three, I believe that's one of your leaders. Uh, one of the older former juniors spin. He gets straightened out though. Number two, I think he's also up in the front. This is one of the older front engine cars. There's your leader, I believe. I believe it's number two. Number three, I believe, is in second. There's your leader. And second place man. Not too far behind him. The Formula 3s, of course, are running a good bit further back in the uh, race. Formula 3s here, the number 69 is a Formula 3 motorcycle engine uh, car. Number 2 is still in the lead. That's the way it ends. Number 2 the winner, number 3 in second. The next race will be for D and E. No, D, just D production, pardon me. Porsches, uh, Uh, some Alphas, Alpha Veloces and the two liter Alphas. These are corner workers waiting the start of the race. And here comes the start. Some uh, Porsche in the lead. In fact, about five Porsches in the lead, looks like. Looks like more than that. Looks like about seven Porsches in the lead. Number 55 in the lead at the moment. I believe that's uh, Everett in a Porsche. This is a Alpha Coupe, the uh, little red one. A couple of more Alpha uh, uh, Spiders. Here are the leaders again. The, another man, uh, the red Porsche, is taking over the lead. Here comes your leader. 
number 55, Everett, he's taking over the lead again. Second place man there. Leaders passing some of the slower cars. The second place man, the great Porsche, may have gone into the lead. It's hard to tell. They were passing some of the slower cars. This Alpha seems to be running pretty well. Uh, the number 55 took the lead again. The gray uh, Porsche is now at second. They're still running. I believe number 108 Porsche, the red one, is moving up again. Everett still has the lead. Number 108 moves into second, though. 53 running third. And that's the way they end. Everett, number 55, the winner. Number uh, 108 was second. The pit and paddock area is over where these cars are parked across the ravine. Here comes the next race for C production, I believe it is. Lotus Super 7 way out front. More Lotuses. Porsche. Daimler. The like. Corner workers trying to clear up some of the uh, hay, looks like, where somebody must have hit one of the bales. Here's your leader, Lotus Super 7. Second place man's another Lotus. And about last place is Duncan Black in his Daimler. He got a bad start. He's running just a little way ahead of the leading car. And uh, staying ahead of him. Here's the second place car. Back in the pack you have a variety of cars. There's an Alpha, AC Bristol. The Alpha's the coupe. Here's Black. Staying out ahead of the leader. Black usually is in contention. But uh, with a bad start, he'll be hard put to make up the, the, the distance. In fact, uh, it doesn't look like he can do it. Morgan spun there. Here comes Black, passing some of the slower cars. At the rate he's going, he ought to pick up a number of the uh, slower cars. They're passing the Alpha and some of the others. Here's Black. Looks like the Lotus is closing up on him. In fact, the Lotus passes him, looks like. Black is uh, running behind the leader now. Actually, he is a full lap behind. Second place man still running good with no real challenge. And Black closes up on the Lotus again. In fact, he passes him. But there must be something wrong with the Lotus. Let's see. Uh, it looks like the Lotus has trouble. He's probably going out. So that leaves this man uh, to take over. Let's this man take over the. Uh, Leading spot. Black misses uh, the turn here. Let's see. There he goes. And he slows down and turns around. He may, may have been trying to pick up uh, a few uh, extra cars before the finish. But the Lotus Super 7 that had been running second uh, uh, took over the lead. Of course, when the leading Lotus uh, had troubles, San was the winner. Black, of course, was uh, some quite some distance back. The next race uh, is for the large modified cars. Down to, let's see, it doesn't include G and uh, H modified is all. 
There's a start. Penske has gone into the lead. Half Sharp is behind him. Mr. Corvette then behind them, and then the flock of them. Here's Penske in his TLR special. Running way out front, here's the uh, Hap Sharp, also in a Cooper. Not the same kind. Penske, I believe, uh, built this Cooper out of a wrecked uh, Formula One car. I believe this is one of the factory sports cars, uh, Cooper sports cars. Third place is Holbert in a Porsche, number 14. He's in, uh, I believe, the next lower class. Here's a Maserati birdcage. You don't see too many of them on the East Coast, seems like. He started last for some reason. He's moving pretty well, though. Penske passing many of the slower cars now. really moving. Half Sharp simply can't close the uh, gap. This man's running about fourth in this Lister Corvette. That's a powerful car, but it just doesn't corner well enough. There's a Porsche spun out, I guess. <laughs> it almost spins out getting it back on the track, looks like. Pinsky going up the street. And that's the way it ends. Pins